When United flowed, the football was good. This early move showed how they can play, and Mickey Lewis's shot was only a whisker away. With Steve Foster in charge, the defence looked a lot sounder. This was one of the few lapses. Just as well, Pete Hucker was on his toes. And this was the only other real lapse from a right-wing corner. The defence failed to win the ball, and winger Rod Thomas climbed up to head Watford into the lead. In the second half, United threw everything forward. Colin Greenall joined in the attack and wasn't too far off scoring. Foster moved up as well and nearly caught Coton out with this acrobatic effort. Oxford finally got the goal they deserved, Barsley the architect and John Durnin chased hard to make the opening. Not a tidy or spectacular finish, but it was just what United needed. They could have won it late on as well. Just watch how close Dernin's cross comes to making a goal. Manager Brian Horton drove his team on from the bench. This was the last effort. Foster again, desperately close. In the dying minutes, the referee took centre stage. He was cracked on the head by the ball and stumbled to the ground. And then, with three minutes plus a couple of minutes of injury time still to go, the referee Gifford blew for full time. Oxford officials complained. Watford was saved by the bell, and United had to settle for just one point. <laughs>